Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to my loot from the Thousand Gladius video. So these are from the Ascension Dungeon. They're really easy to kill. They just teleport around a little bit and stun you. And you can try to use Anticipation and the other ability to try to break free, but it doesn't do anything. So just set up your ability bar like you see mine and you'll kill them. If you're a lower level, you might want to eat the tuna potatoes like I did and save your adrenaline to heal with Regenerate and Ice Asylum if you can. So there's no cost on food or potions. But lower levels may want to bring them and pray from Mage against them. And these actually require 81 Slayer to kill. They did give me a couple of treasure hunter keys and one of them actually gave me a mask of vines for Jadinkos. Here's the equipment and inventory I used. You can substitute that equipment for anything lower because these things are quite easy to kill. So as long as you're around their combat level which is 130, maybe even a little bit lower, you should be fine because they are just noobs to kill. And if you look at my inventory, you probably won't need prayer potions in the holy wrench. If you're a higher level like me, I ended up just putting them away. So all you'll need to bring is just alk runes and some note paper. I brought a teleport just in case and a charming imp for any of the charms I got. And you will want that if you are collecting charms because they do have a great drop rate. Here's my inventory. I got some spirit sapphires, four of them, but I had to deposit them so I could give you this full price check. So if you look at the total loot combined, that is 21 mil, which is almost, or maybe a little bit more than frost dragons. So I got over a mil from mithril bars, almost a mil from adamant, nice amount of logs, a nice amount of serenic scales, two of them, that's not too bad I guess. That's 700k, um, and I got my key halves. So the gems, it's kind of pointless, I only got two of them, and I only got one room bar. I actually got a rare swordfish drop, which is weird, because I swear I got one here before. And I got 2.4 mil worth of shards, so I suggest picking it up. I see a lot of people who don't do that. And look at my different keys. Um, that is an order of Primus to Sextus, and you can just see the different amounts there. I got lucky, I got a lot of Primus. And that cash stack right there, all of that is just from all of the alkable drops that I had. So you'll definitely want to bring those alk runes. As I uh, speed through me selling all this stuff, you can look at the experience gain for a thousand of these. So each of them is 170.4 constitution experience, 560.6 range experience, and 222 slayer experience. They're not too bad, it's alright. Alright, so you can look here, I got pretty lucky, I got 5 Primus, and those are worth almost 900k each, which is the most out of any of the keys, so I really did luck out a little bit. But here's the total loot, I got 15,000 fragments, those are used for making lower level bolts if you ever want to, and the charms. And the Crimson charms really are the best here, that's 767 out of 1,000, so that's a quite a good rate from those if you want Crimsons. I got 252 Anagogic Orts, and almost... 21 mil cash and the supplies I used was only alk runes and note paper and that was only 236k so that's 20.5 mil total profit about 3 mil an hour almost no risk I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time since you made it this far please like the video if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my future uploads peace